What joint action are the three vasty muscles responsible for? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching, and in this video, we're going to dissect a common mock question whereby we're going to understand about the vasty muscles and about joint actions. Now, before we get started, alongside this video, you've also got three more mock questions to test your knowledge with. So if you're on our blog, all you've got to do is scroll down. If you're not on our blog yet, then you can click the link that's with this video and it will take you straight there. So in this video, we're going to really understand how to dissect a mock question or a multiple choice question like what you'll get in your exam. We're going to understand the joint actions and also muscle origins and insertions, as well as have that chance to be able to practice practice more mock questions. Now this is a typical type of level three anatomy and physiology question whereby you have to apply your knowledge of the muscles and apply your knowledge of joint actions to one specific question. So let's re go over that question. First of all it's what joint action are the three vasty muscles responsible for? Now this type of question is not just an explicit like what is the origin and insertion of this muscle is asking you to apply your knowledge and that's why we've got to dissect the question understand what it's really asking work out the answer and then move forward from there so that's where we're going to start we're going to start by breaking it down so we're going to start by taking out the key words from the question so let's go over the question what joint action so that's one key word are the three vasty muscles responsible for so i would say that the the two key words here are joint action and three vasty muscles. So you've kind of got this understanding that that's what they're talking about. Now we've just got to be able to understand what we know about each of these key words, which is our next step. So what do you already know about the three vasty muscles? And this is probably something for us to spend a bit of time on now. Well, a vasty muscle is part of the quadricep group. So the quadricep muscle are the muscles on the front of the thigh, so anterior of the thigh. And you'll know these as the four muscles that make up the quadriceps, one of which is the rectus femoris, which is slightly different. But the remaining three are known as the vasti muscles. You've got vastus medialis, vastus intermedialis and vastus lateralis. Now, they are the vasti muscles. So that's what this question is asking us about. The vasti muscles, those three that make up the quadriceps that aren't the rectus femoris. But they are different and we need to understand and withdraw that information that we understand about the quadriceps. So first of all, we need to know about the origin and insertion points of each of these so that we can start finding out about the joint actions. Now, the insertion point is the point furthest away on the moving part. So that's the attachment point on the moving part after the muscle has crossed the joint. Now, this part is the same for all of our quadriceps, which is why I want to start with the insertion point. This is the, the tibia via the patella tendon, and that's for all four of our quadricep muscles. They all go into this point. Now, if you put your hand on the knobbly bit on the front of your knee, so you've kind of got your patella, which is your kneecap. Now, below that, there's a knobbly part. That is your, this little groove that on your tibia. Now, the tibia is the wider, the bigger part of your, your shin bone, basically. So in your lower leg, you've got your tibia and your fibula. The tibia is the, has this wide plateau at the top, which is the part where it creates the knee joint. Now, from that tibia plateau, just at the very knobbly part of the front is where the patella tendon joins in. And that's the insertion point for all four of our quadriceps. However, the origin point is different depending on the muscle we're looking at. So first of all, the rectus femoris crosses both the knee and the hip. So we're expecting the origin point to be not just above the knee somewhere, but also above the hip. And its actual origin point is the anterior, inferior, iliac spine. Now, if you literally put your fingers on the front of your hips, you'll find a little knobbly bit on the front of your pelvis. And that's just above the point that we're inserting from. So the knobbly bit is your ASIS, which is the superior part, we need to drop just below that. So just for a little bit lower than that knobbly part. And that is your origin point for your rectus femoris. It then crosses the knee and the hip before it goes into that insertion point we were talking about. And because it crosses both of those, it does two joint actions. So these two primary joint actions are both hip flexion and knee extension. But the question that we've got on this mock question, on this multiple choice question, is not asking us about the rectus femoris. 
it's asking us about the vasti muscles. So we need to know their origin. Now the origin for all three vasti muscles is the upper femur. So it was on the front, so the anterior side of the upper femur. Notice it doesn't cross the hip. So it's on the top of that thigh bone on the front, and then it literally insert, uh, origi originates from that point, crosses over the knee and inserts on, that, on the tibia via the patella tendon. Now that means if we were to break it down and find out what the joint action is, we know that we've got to put those two points together. So let's do that. Pop your fingers on the front of your knee, so on, the, on that patella, patella tendon attachment point, and then also put your fingers on the top of your femur. And if you draw those two points towards each other, you'll notice that your leg straightens, your knee straightens. And that's because if you imagine the line of fibre going from the origin to the insertion, they're pulling towards each other to allow for that contraction. And as that contraction happens, the muscle shortens and the insertion and origin get closer to each other we have leg extension or knee extension. And that is the answer to the question. So let's go back to it. So if the question is, what joint action are the three vasti muscles responsible for? We broke it down. We found out that it's asking about joint actions. It's asking about the three quadricep muscles that only cross the knee. And we broke it down to say, well, if the origin is on the top of the femur, the insertion is on the tibia via the patella tendon, then it must be leg extension or knee extension that the joint action is after. Then you can go through and have a look at all the different options that are put in your multiple choice suggestions, find the one that says knee extension and select that as your answer. So what you've got here is an understanding of how to break down a question, just like what you'll get on your exam, but also how to apply your knowledge that you get from learning all of your anatomy and physiology. And this shows the importance of really understanding all parts of your modules for anatomy and physiology so you can answer one question. And if you are stuck on your level three in anatomy and physiology knowledge in preparing for your exam, then make sure you check out the link that is below this video along that talks about the revision mastery boot camps. These are going to really help you be able to break down your knowledge and then use that knowledge to apply it to the types of questions you'll get on your exam. Alongside that, make sure you check out the remaining mock questions and test your knowledge. And you can do that by following the link that is with this video. Outside of that, make sure you share this video with a friend if it's been useful so that more people can learn from videos just like this. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.